All right, today we are diving deep into the incredible science that goes into a truly elite tennis shot. We're gonna break down the physics of perfection. We've all seen it, right? That blur of a serve, the ace that's past the opponent before they can even react. It looks like it's all just raw, brute arm strength, like the player has a cannon for a shoulder. But have you ever stopped to wonder where that mind-boggling 130 mile per hour power actually comes from? Well, the answer might surprise you. Because here's the big secret. It's not just the arm. It's not even close, actually. The immense power you see from a pro player is really a symphony of physics. It's this perfectly timed sequence that involves their entire body all the way from the ground up. Now, the science that explains all of this is called biomechanics. And all that really means is it's the study of how forces work with our bodies. You can kind of think of it as the owner's manual for human movement. For athletes, mastering biomechanics is the absolute key to unlocking their best performance. So how do they actually do it? How do they generate that kind of force? Well, the answer is a concept that is the bedrock of power in pretty much every sport you can think of. It's called the body's kinetic chain. This, this is the real secret. You know, the easiest way to picture the kinetic chain is to think about a whip. A whip cracks not because you move the handle at supersonic speed, right? No, it's because a wave of energy starts slow and controlled at the handle, and it picks up more and more speed as it travels all the way to the tip where it finishes with that explosive crack. Well, your body works in the exact same way. And this shows that sequence perfectly. See, it all starts with the ground. First, the player loads their legs and then pushes off, creating that first jolt of energy. That force then travels up and explodes into the rotation of the hips and the torso. From there, it gets passed to the shoulders, which then fling the arm forward. And it's only at the very, very end of that chain that the racket whips through to make contact with the ball. And get this, the science backs it all up. Studies on elite players show that over half, 50%, of the shot's total energy comes from the legs and the core. The arm is just the final piece of the puzzle, the last and fastest link. It's not the engine. Okay, so that's the theory. Now let's see how this whole kinetic chain idea plays out in one of the most fundamental shots in tennis, the forehand. Just look at this comparison. It's night and day. When a player tries to just muscle the ball using only their arm, what happens? Well, they get very little power and even worse, control. And maybe most importantly, they're putting a ton of stress on their shoulder and elbow. That's a recipe for injury. But when they use the full kinetic chain, everything changes. The power's there, the consistency is there, and it's so much safer for their body. And that's really the main takeaway here. A connected, full body swing isn't just about hitting the ball harder. It's about being more efficient. It's about creating a smooth, repeatable motion that you can count on, especially under pressure, without wearing your body out. And there is no better example of this principle in action than the ultimate weapon in tennis, the serve. This is the kinetic chain firing at its absolute maximum velocity. The serve is just the purest demonstration of biomechanics you can find. Every single part of the body, from that deep knee bend to the final snap of the wrist, has to fire in a perfect, synchronized sequence. If even one link in that chain is a little slow or out of place, the whole thing breaks down, and all that power just fizzles out. Let's look at the actual numbers here, because they are absolutely wild. The hips rotate at a blistering 450 degrees per second. That energy transfers up and the torso accelerates even faster to 800 degrees per second. But then by the time all that energy gets channeled to the racket, it's moving at over 1900 degrees per second. That is a massive amplification of speed at each step. And the result of that perfect explosive sequence, this, a ball rocketing off the strings at over 130 miles per hour. That is the kinetic chain in its most beautiful and most brutal form. Okay, so this is all really cool to see when we're watching the pros, but what does it mean for the rest of us on the court? How can we actually use this science to play a little smarter instead of just trying to hit harder? Here are the key things to remember. First, power always, always starts from the ground up. So stop trying to muscle the ball. Instead, focus on a smooth, rhythmic transfer of energy. Let your hips and your torso start the swing. And remember, your arm is like the tip of the whip. It's the final, fast part, but it's not the engine. Smoothness, that's the real secret to both power and consistency. 
And you know, this isn't just about tennis. This kinetic chain is the engine behind a knockout punch in boxing, a perfect golf swing, a 95-mile-an-hour fastball in baseball. It literally powers every great athlete. So the real question to leave you with is this. Now that you understand how it works, what could you power with it?